What is up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a ghost video that is got some information about Drum Lake Gra Graveyard that we were going to do last month and wasn't able to do. So if you guys are wondering why I added some music, scary music into this video. Well, I have some info about Drum Lake on what the fuck on some haunted places that we can go sometime this week so uh... before t well before or after the twentieth so it says here on my computer i have the information the drum right high school back in the day drum right high school used to be a bomb shelter late at night or during a bad storm when lights go out you can see a ghostly figure of a soldier walking up and down the hallways if you stare at the soldier long enough he will turn and look at you and disappear there are many places in the school that is now blocked off, and the school will not say why. There are s still tunnels that are under the school that lead to many other places in town, but they are ha they have been closed off. Nobody will explain the mystery things that happen in the school. So, there's a bunch of places that we could go in any town that is haunted. So that is one of them. Uh, the Cushing, there's a couple places of Cushing. As the first Christian cries, there are images of demons on the each side of the basketball pool. A lady has been dress, seen dressed in all white, walking the halls to a light turn on and off. The organ has been heard playing when no one was in the room with it, and other strange noises have been heard. A church has been found out to be built in old Indian burial grounds. The North Fault School, the interior of the school buried down years ago. And in the basement, two children were trapped. If you go in the basement, there are still sometimes heard crying, help me. White glow seeing hanging on the tree. That's part of Cushing. Now, I don't know any about Tulsa. Let me pull this down just a little bit. Not only anything about Tulsa, so we're going to go ahead and look at that. Find anything about Tulsa? I, I believe there is. Okay, so here's some places that my brother's at. There's three places. Okay, so first one, Pawnee Bill Ranch Mansion. While touring the mansion, many people have felt ghosts. Seen have some have seen the presence of Pawnee Hill and Pawnee Bill. An image of him is also an ominous or ominous effect on a painting on the second floor. An angry chill is felt in the southern upper be bedroom where the man played poker. May Lily, Bonnie Bill's wife, haunts her favorite chair near the front door and some have seen her child who died playing with the toys near the chair. Bonnie Bill's ranch. The ranch itself, not the mansion. So, on that night, Bonnie Bill died. His shadow appeared in a painting located in the stairway. If you walk by the water tower, you feel a cold chill. His son hanged himself there. Now, there's a lot of people that said here in the drum right part that they have seen this figure. This ghost figure, if I can find a picture, I'll put it in the video. This ghost figure that walks around the school and the stairs and the classrooms and everywhere. This was seen back in the day. That was back in the 1900s, I believe. 1900 and something, like maybe like the 40s, 50s, somewhere around there. And if not, I'm wrong about that. So I'm I'm right about the ghost though. So ah, uh, we're planning on. Okay, as I was saying, um, I'm planning on making. It. Seriously. Let me turn it down. Or just turn it off. Okay, now we can talk. So, what I'm saying is that people have seen the ghost figure inside of the, high, of the high school. Now, the only way for us to go record inside the high school is to get permission from the principal himself. And I know the principal. I know him very well. Uh, 
at any time of any night, we can go ahead and get a hold of him and see if we can get inside to check every room with the flashlight. I've got a flashlight here somewhere. Just don't know where it went. We can take it with us. Take our phones. The wall sockets on every room has been off. They've shut the electric off. They've shut everything off in that place. Because there's a leak in the ceiling due to the reason they can't have people in the school. So they built another one and then now they've got that up. So uh, we can try and get a hold of him. See if we can get inside there sometime to this week. May go inside and see if we can investigate the ghost. Then we can contact him back and give him the key back. We can't just break in because that's bad enough to get us in trouble. But I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to go ahead and ask him when I get a chance. it be okay. Um, so, no, there's a lot of places that it's illegal to go in without permission. So, I'm going to have ask permission before I go in. So, okay, there is some places in Tulsa. There's a bunch of places in Tulsa. Good God. Okay. I'll read that in a second. So, which has stuff in there I can't mess with. Uh, I've seen the whole building. I've been inside the building before. Uh, the building's pretty cool. It's got a nice, it's got nice classrooms. They've got nice paintings in one room. They've got some nice still, uh, trophies in there that they've left in there. I believe they, if they haven't, they're gone and they're in a different the other school. So, uh, all that, which is the one that we are going to be going to sometime this week. Uh, the now, talk about the graveyard here in Drumright. I don't know. I have looked up some info about if it's being illegal. There is certain places that is illegal. I doubt drum rights illegal because I know drummers don't even drive by it all the time, so they know that nobody's gonna mess with it. So, they're not, nobody's gonna report anything or do anything. But there is a couple of houses right near that, so we've got to watch it. We've got to watch where we point the flashlights and everything. Uh, we might do that tonight. Maybe, just maybe. Uh, and go out there today. For the, for the day, so you can show you guys which graveyard I'm going to be going to, to do our video. And my, now, there's a, there's a deal, there's a guy there that is kin to me, that's my grandpa and that's his dad, that's buried over there, uh, which is, his name is Virgil Bradbury, which is his dad, and my grandpa, that's buried there, and, uh, I still, I don't remember where he's part of the drum right is buried at. Uh, somewhere in the drum right graveyard, he's buried somewhere. I just can't figure out where, what area of the drum right uh, cemetery. There's like two cemeteries here, so and we're only doing one. So, we're only doing one. Because so I know there's like two cemeteries over here. There's like two sides. There's like one. That goes that road that goes down to Ulton. Then there's one that goes straight down to a different route. So, so we're going to take the one uh, near the route. We're not taking the one right by Ulton because uh, it's because the one that we're going to is a lot closer and it's a lot better. So, I'm going to sometime get a try and get a hold of the principal and see if we can get inside the building and do some couple of videos and clips and whatnot. Make sure the camera's fully charged before we go in there. So and we can ask him and see what he says. I know there's a lot of people out there that know that there's things that do go on. So I'm I'm witnessed and I'm a good enough to be able to do things the re the way I wanted to do it. Uh, I know how to do things. I've learned this from a brother. I've learned this from TV. I've wa I used to watch Ghost Adventures all the time, and I still do. And this is where mostly I'm learning this from. 
That was a bug flying around if you guys have seen that. But, uh, it's, uh, I've learned this from Ghost Adventures. I've learned this off of TV. I've learned this off of YouTube. I've seen people use their phone to detect ghosts and all that. I have seen it many times. Now, they said in the daytime, you really ain't going to get nothing at the graveyard. Not very much at all. Now, if you go at nighttime around 3 o'clock in the morning, now, there's like 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock in the morning, you will get chance of getting the ghosts to come out. Right now, it is 9.20. We've got three more hours. And I can go right now and show you guys where we're going to be hunting, we're going to be going, doing our video at, at what graveyard. If we do it today. So, uh, and as of that, uh, we're going to bring our huge equipment. We're going to bring our two phones. We're going to bring uh, the camera and the camera stand. Uh, we're probably going to bring some something to be able to hear and listen. We're going to be using our mic on the phone for closer up. Just in case you guys cannot hear me from way off of the fucking camera. That is the only way we're going to be using our mic. We're not going to use it while walking. We're going to use it while walking in the graveyard. Around the graveyard. So, just beware. There's never, there's, there's like one or two people that lives by it that doesn't fuck with the graveyard. Because they know it's bad at night. And it's crazy. Now, I have not witnessed that yet. I'm fixing to. And we were wanting to do this video last month before I lost my ID if I not told you guys that yet if you guys haven't seen my Facebook I've lost my ID about a couple weeks ago while well, walking with my mom to the store and it dropped out of my pocket and yeah so I'm having to wait till tomorrow day after tomorrow to get 20 off of my aunt then getting five from somebody that will I can borrow five from then we can get my ID in case something happens so there's not people that works at that that cemetery anymore so nobody works at there anymore so there's not be a lot of people at all uh, it's kind of crazy so yeah so we're going ahead and read the tall support parts of what's haunted so there we go alright so the first one is the Brady Theater. If you guys do not know what the Brady Theater looks like, I'll have a picture right here. So you guys can see it. it says here, supposedly, supposedly, the last place where singer Enrico Carzo, or how you pronounce his name, performed before he died and said to be haunted by his ghost out of the work of a workman who fell from a ladder and died. <laughs> Excuse me. People have heard voices, footsteps, and found ladders and things this place while in there. Now, I haven't experienced that one yet either. I haven't been there. They have shut. They have shut the Brady Earth Theater down because of it. So, now Tulsa Camelot Hotel. I never heard of it. If you guys have seen it, here's a picture of it right here. If I if I can find it, this is a very old hotel, and if if it is said that Elvis once stayed in it, there are all signs of all over the place that. Say no trust or do not enter it is usually at night. Witnesses always see the lights on and strange things going up to the very top floor and look, people looking through windows. October 27, 2007 uh, update. The building has been sold and is scheduled to be demolished. It is now gone and the land supposedly belongs to quick trip franchise of gas stations and convenience stores. It was also torn down to make way for a widened highway. So that means that Camelot Hotel is not there anymore, so we cannot experience that. So that's marked off our list. So, now, the old Central High School. The old high school has been converted into a business. The local utility company, since the conversion, strange things have occurred. Lights flickering on and off. Files being moved. Bathroom files are being turned on late at night. Some workers have heard footsteps and noticed trash cans moving to the hallways. And even Elvis going up and down by themselves. Some think it's the spirit of Doris Dixon, a girl that died in the basement swimming pool back in the 1930s. Under mischievous 
mysterious circumstances, the building contains stones engraved, which each cautious graduation dates. Some say if you look at the stones for the class of 1936, you can see the faint of Alan Dorsey's face. Which that's kind of weird. So I'm going to get on down. There's not very, there's a lot here though. There's a lot here though. But, I think I went too far. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, voices heard at the Memorial Cemetery. Mohawk Park. Reports of the park being inhabited by little people that are heard talking and moving around never seen. Also, reported the deer lady said to be half woman and half deer that stands on its hind legs at about eight feet tall. Good lord. That's a record. Mohawk Park Golf Course. This is an old bathroom facility on the golf course that is a light can be seen at, the, at night. From... Wait, where am I at? I lost my... I was paying attention to the phone. I lost my... Side of, side of no power is run to the back building. Or wait, can we see it now from the swarm side of no power that is run to that building? Also, the air coming out of it's always cold, even in midsummer. And if it's an air conditioner run, is running in there, as if an air conditioner is running in there. That's what I'm trying to say. Now the Philbrook Museum. I've not been to muse these museums in here in Tulsa. In Tulsa, I mean, I'm in Durham, right? So. Uh, the eyes of some of the statues will follow you, and some of the heads will actually turn. There are strange lights go up and down the halls, light in the evenings. That's crazy. There's another one. That's the spell tall on this one. Uh, Spotlight Theater. I think I've been to it. It's kind of crazy, but if you're alone or with another one other person on the second floor, you can hear footsteps in the co costume room. In the basement, there are weird scratch marks on the wall. You can hear a faint laugh, laughter. Train tracks. Now, I have. Been, I used to live by train tracks, twice. So I've used to live by it several times. So I never heard anything yet. A bunch of kids were playing chicken in front of a train the tra on the train tracks. All four of them were killed. Some say if you put your car in park, they will push your car off the tracks to safety, so no one else will be hurt. Some uh, say the kids. Put dirty hands on your car and hear faint cries in in the night. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, vacant South Tulsa office. Why any problems over B L D D? A office building now vacant on Yale Avenue in South Tulsa. A construction worker supposedly killed during the construction of the building years ago. A building engineer on the night shift and other skeleton crew. Workers reported hearing footsteps on the vacant floor or seeing a man in the construction worker's gear who never spoke walking on top floor and roof. One worker refused to go up on the roof after repeatedly hearing footsteps and finding no one there. At one point, the building was supposed to be empty, totally empty, and the security guard, while making night rounds in the parking lot, ob observed someone walking on the, up, the upper floors of the building. The engineer also observed strange things, including desk drawers in the cub cubby next to the, I don't know how you pronounce the word, C-U-B-I-C-L-E, cub cubble or something like that, next to the, his, that would be found, a, one open again, and that, uh, again after he closed them. Wow, that's crazy. The last one, Will Rogers High School. Now, I used to, I was living by that for quite a uh, month, actually. Uh, I'd never been in it. I was right by it for a little while. Uh, so, I believe. I'll have to look it up if I have. In the auditorium, you can see a man in a white penguin tux walking around on stage and backstage. Rumored that to uh, be that of an old band director that died of a heart attack on stage in the early 50s. After conducting the song, Come Sweet Death, you can look up a small per see a small person also in a white on the grid. Many other sightings and phenomena have been reported by the janitor, and a few kids stayed late for events or detention. Must have visitors pass to enter. Must have a visitors pa a visitors pass to enter. Simply go in the main office on the floor and say you want to walk around and visit the archer. It's very nice, and you also go around the room or uh, go just go during the round roundup. Show O R O T C Chill Supper Site or whatever auction March 28, 2008. Additional information the ghost reported in a white tux to be a Dr. Carl Barnett. 
the band director who had the heart attack while conducting Box's Botches Come Sweet Death. His death occurred on April 23rd, 1974. His, he was only 59 years old, and he was the first and last performance of the musical uh, composition. Here is a link where you can confirm it. There's a link right there. I'm going to click on it. So those are the places that I have stayed at, but never been to, to check. So, tonight, may or may not, we're going to the graveyard tonight. I will have everything ready. I've got to get phones charged. My phone here is only at 45%, and it's not supposed to rain today, so we're good. So, another thing is, we are going to continue uh, looking at trying to get inside of the high school, the old high school here in Drumright, and then I contact the old principal, that, I mean the new principal, that's there that has the key to it. And we can ask him and see if we can get in to make a video soon. And even though if it's rain or not, we're going to be in there for about two to three hours. Uh, like till like three o'clock in the morning. And we're going to be visiting that whole area to see what we get. Now, on second, uh, on that second, here on the second thing we're gonna do is it's a graveyard. Uh, I come to her to hear. There's no on the internet, but I've come to hear that people when they go over there at the Drumright Cemetery, uh, I hear that I was told that people hear strange things at the cemetery at nighttime. Now it is dark outside right now. And I know where the uh, they where the the cemetery is at. I know where it's located, and it's here in Drumright. I know where to go to go to it because I've seen the sign so many times. I've walked by it. I've gotten the rides by it. It's there, completely. I can walk straight right there all day and do videos completely all day by myself and experience things of what happened which is crazy so uh, I believe hold on a second nearest graveyard okay check it out Greenwood graveyard Oh wait, hold up. Is there only one in Dermite? So I'm guessing it's Greenwood Cemetery. I'm not sure. Not for sure. It's not showing any nearest ones. Alright, let me do it like this. Cemeteries and Dermite. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, kind of like seven cemeteries in Drumright, so I don't know. So I'm guessing the only cemetery that's near us is Greenwood. And there's another one that's down by the hospital that we can walk to. Does I know it's there. I've been to it. And it goes inside of. Hold on a second. So this goes inside of Alton, I believe. Or right by Alton. Can't tell. Let me look. Starting route to 7190 South Greenwood Road. I'm not sure if Eastwood Street. Then turn left onto South Virginia Avenue. Okay, we passed our Aspen Duck. Let's see. Oh, Super Attack. Oh, so that one is the only one here. So, I believe we're going to have to walk to that tonight. That's going to be a long ass fucking walk. 
Like before you even hit Alton. Way before you hit Alton. Alright, let's see. So, another thing is we're going to get our phones charged. I know where it's at. Um, and we are going to do the cemetery video that I told you guys I was going to do. So, uh, let me think. Let me think about it real quick, and see if I can make it down there without. Well, uh, there's not guards in there, but that's the only one I know. I guess because I've seen a sign up there to buy the fucking hospital, so I can go and check later on tonight. And if that's not it, then I don't know. So, uh, anyways, we're gonna get our stuff done and get ready for the video. And I know there's going to be a lot of talking down there. I will see you guys down there. Peace. Alright guys, to recheck, there is one nearest to us that we can go to. That I picked up on my Android. And it is the one on the old Shamrock Road. Down by the park. That I used to go to all the time. Uh, so the road is only like 3.1 miles, so we're, we'll, it's like an hour and something, hour and four minutes walk. So, that way, we're going to do it at that cemetery, so that's the only cemetery we're doing it. I know there's nobody down there that works down there. Shouldn't be anyway. So, I haven't really even heard anything. Oh, uh, so, yeah. So, anyways, uh, I will get back to you guys as soon as I get things ready. And get my phone charged up, and once my phones are fully charged, we will be going to that cemetery to do a video. And I'm not fucking around tonight. We gonna do it. I possibly know there shouldn't be nobody that goes down there much anymore. So we're gonna see if we can experience anything crazy onto the video. I'd recheck before I would come back to you guys. So I did. My Android got it better than the fucking iPhone. So, anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Boom. Alrighty, guys. So we are right now walking to our at our location. I am keeping eye on the road here. I'm gonna come light on so I can see. So we are going to head to the cemetery back on the back road, and we're heading to there now. Okay, so. If this is the one with the gate, we're not going to be going to that one because there's another one I can go to that is free, I believe. Because I've been to two of them here in Drumright. And that's not the one of them. I've been to one right. I've been to the same one twice, which was the one here in Drumright that's nearest to us. So we're heading down there now. So we're going to go down to Pennsylvania Avenue. But we're going to turn left here because. Uh, the police station is around the right. And I don't want them knowing that we're heading this way. So we're trying to keep our cool. And I'll see you guys there. I did not bring the stand, so that is not included in the video. I did bring that uh, earphone, so. Yeah. So we are going to do our video tonight. So I'll see you guys there. Peace. Alright, guys. So we are continuing to walk our journey to the area we're going to. We've got a couple of houses right near us. I'm keeping the phone and the flashlight down. We're only 2.0 miles from the, and 40 minutes from the old, from this cemetery. We're trying to keep our low down as we can. So that way we get inside the cemetery. I know I've heard a few things that the cemetery is haunted. A um, couple of reports, uh, not really very many. So, they were walking by some weeds, if you guys can see that. So, we're walking down to the cemetery we're going to by ourselves. And we're hoping that we don't get caught. So, anyways, we're going to continue our journey. My dad's at home. He's asleep. I've kept the door unlocked. So I have to come back. When I come back, anyway. I don't know where I am, anyway. Just the phone this way, guys. There is a house right on the left of me, like on the side. So, 
right now I'll talk to you guys later and I'll see you guys when we get there. Peace. Okay, come on blur, bitch. Hold on guys. Alright guys, we got an emperor. Alright guys, we had to end up passing by one dog so far and two cars. So they haven't I'm guessing they have not said anything or nothing. And we have not been seen by a cop or anything yet. We're still walking down this road here. And you guys can see my light here. I uh, hope we can. Walking down through here. We're gonna see if we can get anything on our spirit box or anything. And I'll see you guys when we get there. Peace. Why is my camera blurry? Alright guys, we have made it to the graveyard. Right here. We made it safely. To this graveyard. The graveyard is right here. I'm trying to find an entryway to get in. I can't see an entry. There's one behind me, but I'm not for sure. Right there, there it is. Right there. Okay, guys, we got an entryway in. I believe the gate is shut. Nope, it's open. Okay, the gate's open, you guys. So let's head in and see what it feels like. Okay, I'm pretty scared to do this, brothers. Hey, we got that back there. Okay, guys. Everybody out there. Come on, I'm blur. Okay, guys, everything about everybody out there, please pray. We're gonna fix and go in. Here we go. All right, guys, this is the graveyard that I was talking about. That people have seen spirits out here. And this is the very first one I've been to out here on this side of the street. Okay, so we're gonna do some stuff. We're just gonna chuck some, some stones. Some of these right here. I get I got here safely, so you guys are good. Uh, everyone that's out here that's buried will spawn to be a spirit anywhere you go. So this is what nighttime looks like for me. I'm not sure if it's good or bad at this point. I don't see nobody. There is a house right near it, but they are sleeping. So we can just look through here real quick. See who's all buried. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting like chills down my spine, you guys. Like fucking chills. Okay, here's the some graves. Dolores Ingold and Drill. What's that? Okay, never mind. This is Rima Andrew's Royal Province. Can't remember what, what the see it added the year. Uh be crazy actually. So let's go ahead and get our spirit box out. And see what happens out here. I believe something really good is gonna really bad is gonna happen. This is the graveyard that I was talking about. Lucky there is no fence. Well there's a fence around it, but there's nobody that lives by it. So there's only one house. And they're totally asleep. Whoa, what the fuck happened here? Jesus, something happened there. Alright guys, we're gonna get by a tree and see what happens. I wish I brought my stand, but I didn't. Oh man, this is gonna suck. Let's go over here. Actually, check these gravestones. I don't see no spirit, but this is our first we are doing out here. I hear something. What was that? So here's one of loving wife, mother, Crystal Dawn Howard, March 9th, 1978, to Mar May 15th, 1997. I think she was like about her 40s, 50s, I believe. Somewhere around that. Here's one right here. I'm not sure they fixed it up yet. There's certain ones they fixed up. And there's two here that's buried right here. I'm getting chills down my spine. What's that right there? That's like a pole or something. Can't see it. 
It's like some kind of a pole or something. Or this is like a thin gravestone or something. Yeah, this is like a pipe or something. Make sure I don't see no coyotes at this bitch. This is where coyotes do, we don't come out. Usually, anyways. All right, so let's go ahead and turn my volume up so you guys can hear it. I do not feel any chills on my spine yet. We're not here, we're not, not three o'clock yet. I would hate to be three o'clock. So there's no, there's some tombs over here. We can check. My phone is like really about dead though, this one. Got bugs all over me for some reason. So, bunch of graveyards out here. Let's see what we get. Are there any spirits here that want to communicate? Wow, 1873? That's way long. Way, way, way long. But that girl lived a little long life too, though. Till 1976, 1973, or 36, I mean. <sighs> Any spirits here that want to communicate? There's two right there. There's a couple buried over here. Not very many. Okay. This is not a gravestone. This is like a deal. Let me put my camera. If you guys see any spirits, please let me know. These are just bugs flying around, by the way. Are there any spirits here that want to communicate? I'm not. This is a. Okay, this is one of the tallest. Freaking stone, uh, tombstones I have ever seen. Like, tallest. And it's crazy. They do have some old tombstones like this one. For a change. That used to be like that. Ooh, he lived back in 1933. In the U.S. Army, Korea. Oh, cool. James Doyle Lemons, June 20, 2014. There's a lot of people that is buried out here. They didn't say there's like any reports about it. I'm just checking. See if it's really that haunted. I mean, it's not that bad to look around though. I mean, there is a couple of graves like around here. We could check. There's some over here. What the fuck was that? Okay. I thought it was something else. Anyway. So there here's a bunch of tombstones. I think there's some way over there too. I can barely see them. Billy L. and Nina B. They didn't even put their death date on here. I guess they used to go fishing. That's pretty cool. This one's Shelby Hall, 1894 to 1908. Wow. A lot of people lived in the 1800s, 1890s. That's pretty cool. And there's not a lot of people that's buried out here anymore. Barely anybody. Okay, there's nothing on this one, so I'm gonna turn this one off. We're gonna get my other phone out. I'm gonna use the light on it though. I'm gonna make my other phone out real quick. We're gonna use the iPhone light. I know we're out here at, at the dark time. What the fuck was that? Did you guys hear that? Dude, that literally was the worst sound I've ever heard. I hear cows, but I heard some girl yelling. Alright, put this in my pocket. 
All right, guys, give me this. Oh, shit, the water's wet. Ooh, fuck. Fuck that, fuck that. All right, I'm gonna lay this right here real quick. I'm gonna just take this down real fast. Okay, we got it. We're gonna go ahead and use my spirit box on my. Hello? Lots of back coming in. Okay, we're gonna use a spirit box on here. This one does work, so I've used it before. And it does work on the iPhone too. I've done it before too on the iPhone, and I've been getting literally all kinds of things. So I'm gonna alert down to the volume three. Turn this volume up. Blinds all the way up. Oh, it's. Oh, any spirits here that want to communicate? No, this is part property, but I'm just trying to watch my surroundings so I don't get hurt. Are there any spirits here that want to communicate? Which is a dream. Doesn't seem like anybody wants to communicate tonight. All right. All right, guys. So we're going to head back because there's really nothing really going on that I thought would be. It's not one I was thinking about, but. I'm gonna try to get back home safely. And I'll let you guys know, let you guys know if we get home safely. I'm like freaked out out here. Uh, because there is animals out here that you hear at night. And it is dangerous to be out here with this this cemetery anyways. Because this is like right near weeds, like all weeds. Hold on a second. Okay, look, this is like right near all loads of weeds. If you guys see any ghosts, please let me know. It's, I'm not seeing anything yet. Not whatsoever yet. We ain't got bright lights like we should. I know it's gonna be blurry out here. What in the fuck was that? Okay, I think we need to hit that. It's time to start heading back. All right, guys, I'm gonna get off. I'm gonna get what's this picture of? Oh, cool. What the fuck was that? Okay, the cows are going crazy. So we're gonna have to get back quick. Alright guys, we're gonna get, uh, this really went with a big video like I thought it would be. Uh, we'll figure out something else later, and I'll get back to you guys, and I'll let you guys know if we're gonna hang up home safely. Peace.